Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Khan and I am the author of Amina's Voice, the Zaid Salim Chasing the Dream series, and my most recent middle grade novel, More to the Story. And I'm excited to share with you today some of the inspiration behind More to the Story and also uh, a writing exercise that I did when I was young and think is a really fun memento to create and keep uh, and something that I also included in this book. This is my personal copy of Little Women. It actually belonged to my sister when I was growing up and she gifted it to me many years ago. Uh, it, this was a book that I read over and over again, as you can tell by how worn out it is and how the spine had to be taped up with tape that is now coming apart too. Uh, the book is super thick because it's actually little women and little men in one. If you flip the book over, you get a whole new book. And I used to read both of these books all the time, but Little Women the most, um, because this was a story that I really, really deeply connected to. Um, when I was growing up, I never saw characters like me in any of the books that I was reading. I never saw a little Pakistani American Muslim girl. And for some reason, I connected to these girls who maybe because they were growing up in a different time than, than I was, uh, maybe because they had different rules on how girls were supposed to behave or how people were supposed to date or even get married. Um, they had a friend, a special friend named Lori who lived next door. And I had a really special friend who lived next door as well. And I think I found ways to relate to these girls and their lives and all the things that were going on with them. And when I thought about writing a story of my own that would touch readers as much as this book touched me, um, I thought, why not use some of what I loved about this story so much and write a book that is inspired by my very favorite. So that's how I came to write more to the story, which also features four sisters growing up in modern day Atlanta. Um, but this is Jamila, my main character, who was inspired by Joe March, her sisters, Mariam, Aliza, and Bisma. And the book really chronicles their adventures um, from Jamila's point of view. Jamila is an aspiring writer who wants to be an award-winning journalist like her grandfather. And she's struggling because her editor at school is trying to get her to write fluffy pieces about boring topics. And she wants to write hard-hitting news. Uh, but in her quest to write this award-winning story that's going to impress everybody uh, and hopefully propel her on her dream to becoming this award-winning journalist, she ends up inadvertently hurting her friend. Um, her special friend who moves from overseas, Ali, and she has to figure out how to fix things. Another thing that I think I borrowed from Little Women was the idea of a family newspaper. Uh, in Little Women, Joe March kept one, and I think that's probably where I got the inspiration as a kid to write my own, The Chronicles, where I talked about what was going on in my home. And I actually found copies of my old family newspapers, issues of them, that I used to write on lined notebook paper and tape together. As you can see, the tape has worn off over time and turned yellow. But I had a news section, front page news. I had um, sections devoted to food, to the weather. I had letters that I wrote, um, like a advice column, and then I used to answer the questions that I submitted. Um, I even had a fake stock market where I wrote about my siblings and whether, I guess it was my feelings about them, and their stock went up or down depending on how much I liked them, I guess, at the time. Um, but it was really fun to go back and read my family newspaper. And now that we're all home and um, indoors a bit more than we'd like to be, um, what better way to spend the time than to create a family newspaper of your own where you can talk about what's going on in your household. Um, you can do things like include book reviews like I did, um, reviews of meals that you may have been served, whether you like them or not, um, recipes, um, letters to the editor like I did, an advice column, um, just regular reporting on what's going on with the other members of your household, with your pets, uh, with your neighbors, whatever you can think of. Uh, it's a really fun way to practice writing in a way that doesn't feel like practice because it's a lot of fun and you're creating memories and in a way it's a journal for you to keep track of what you're thinking about and feeling during these times. So I hope you will consider uh, this exercise. I would love to see some of the newspapers 
that you come up with, if there's a way to share it with me, um, you can always contact me through my website, through Smith snail mail, through email, and I'd love to see photos or get samples of, of the newspapers that you create. But I do hope that you'll keep reading, and I'd love to close by sharing a little excerpt of more to the story with you. Ms. Levy peers over her reading glasses at me, and I begin to sweat despite the AC blasting. It's the third day of school and I'm in my newspaper club's advisor's cramped office next to the classroom where she teaches English and runs our meetings. She asked me to come in during lunch when she passed me in the hall, but didn't say why. I don't think I can be in trouble. Newspaper club hasn't started meeting yet for the new year. Now, Jamila, this isn't the norm, but I'm ready to make you... Ms. Levy pauses dramatically and I wonder what she's going to make me do. Features editor of The Crossing this year. She smiles, and I spot a dab of dark pink lipstick on her teeth. What? I'm making you features editor. You showed strong writing skills last year and a big commitment to the paper, and I think you'll do a great job. Really? I thought I was in trouble. No, you're not, Mrs. Levy pauses. Ms. Levy pauses. But there is one more thing. Yeah, I'm naming Travis editor-in-chief. Travis? Travis. The job always goes to an eighth grader. He worked hard for it and is very organized and on task. Oh, I chew on my lip. Ms. Levy knows Travis is the reason I came close to quitting newspaper club last year, three times. And he's the reason why I've been called into this office more than once to get a lecture from Ms. Levy. Jamila, Ms. Levy taps a nail that's long and painted pink. I think there's a unicorn drawn on it. Do you think you two can manage to work together? Um, yeah, I guess. That doesn't sound very convincing. I need you to be sure. I'm asking you both before I announce anything to the rest of the group. There are plenty of eighth graders who would want to be in your position. Did you ask him? Is he okay working with me? He's next. I'm talking to you first. You need to promise me you won't fight like last year. It created a negative environment for the staff. But he always acted like my ideas were dumb and pitched the same boring articles over and over again. It's true. Travis's idea of an exciting editorial was convincing people that the stop sign in front of the school should be a traffic light. He never wanted to touch real stories or issues that involved investigating, like exposing waste in the school cafeteria. And it goes on from there. A little taste of more to the story. Uh, I hope it inspires you to write and please keep reading and uh, be well and hopefully I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.